I'm gonna be opening up a booster pack box every single day until I hit a thousand subscribers. And I'm also trying to build out an entire Scarlet and Violet set. So I need your help. Make sure to subscribe. We're gonna dive into this box and see what we get. Let's go ahead and open it up. Now, this is not my first booster box that I'm opening up, but this is the first one that I'm actually filming. And so we're gonna open up all 36 packs right out of the box. And every single day I'm gonna do this until I hit a thousand subscribers. So I'm hoping we get there because we're gonna give away a Scarlet and Violet ETB. So let's jump right into it. All right, let's see what we've got. All right. Nothing too exciting so far. And we've got a Meowskarada. Moving on, I'll alternate between sides. So I didn't change the order of the packs here. Essentially, this is just how they came out of the box. So if you're kind of interested to see where our pulls come from in the order of the, uh, the actual box, then keep note. All right, and so I'm gonna set the reverses aside and our hollow because those will likely go into my set should they not be repeats of what I already have. Now that I've started assembling my set, I'm starting to see cards that I know I definitely need in my set that I'm hoping for hollows or reverse hollows because those are what will go into my set. So far, I'm off to a pretty good start. If you saw my last video, we walked through what I have so far and you can get an idea of what I'm still going to need. So far, no big hits, just some hollows in reverse, which is pretty much guaranteed in every pack that you're looking at at least getting a hollow, if not a hollow and a few reverse hollows. So here's the code card for those of you that would like it. And let's see if we start to get lucky here. Still nothing, another single hit. I think it's time to go out of this stack. I haven't in the last box that I opened, the first couple of packs in the box also didn't have anything. Maybe it's not the greatest idea to pull from the very front of the box. All right. All right, I know for a fact that I already have that card, so that will go into my extras. All right, there we go. We got our first hit, Toxic Rock. We're still learning some of these names, so we got our first hit, fantastic. Let's keep moving. I think our luck is going to improve as we move forward. Like I said, I have not gotten a pull from the front of a box, and so as we get into the box here, I think we'll start to have a bit more luck. I already have this card, but I'm not mad about it. In case anybody's wondering, I'm using a Benchmade knife. This is uh, one of my favorite knives to carry. Nice little easy pocketable knife. Fantastic for opening Pokemon packs, Amazon packages, all of that good stuff. So let's keep moving forward here. We've gotten a few pulls now, and here's the code card. And let's see if our luck continues. Seems like those packs were right next to each other. All right, we're back to another hollow. Yeah, those packs with the two pulls were right next to each other. It'll be something that's interesting as I go through, hopefully no more than six boxes. But if I need to go through more to get to that thousand subscriber mark, I will, and we'll get a good idea of where the placement of these pulls are so that when you go and look through a box yourself and decide which pack to purchase, you have a better chance at getting what you want. 
Professor Research there. I do already have that card as well. And that's something that I'm gonna end up with a lot of going through this many booster packs is a lot of extras, a lot of repeats and all that good stuff, which is not the end of the world. I'm not mad about that. I'll help somebody else, perhaps one of my kids, build their set if they are still planning on doing that. Their plans tend to change from time to time. There's Mouscarada again. So we're getting some repeat hollows, not a big deal, but I would like to see some stuff that I haven't seen so far. But I'm definitely starting to see which cards are more commonly appearing and which cards are more rare. So here's the code card. There we go. Skeldragir, I think. Trying to say that one correctly. Some of these names new to me and challenging to say. So feel free to correct me down in the comments. And let me know what you're thinking about this video so far. This is the first of this type of video for me. I'm actually a tech YouTuber and have a YouTube channel where I talk about technology and smartphones, tablets, all that good stuff. And so if you're interested, oh, there we go, there we go. That is a card that I don't have and I am super happy to have. And we also got a hollow in there as well. And I don't believe I have that card either. That is great. I am feeling good about that. I should be sleeving these. I have sleeves right here. I just trying to get through this and not make this video extremely long for those of you that are tagging along with me and watching, which I greatly appreciate. Make sure to hit that thumbs up and let me know what you're thinking so far. Let's dive into this pack and see if we get a back-to-back -back hit like we did earlier in the box. So here we go. Nope, not a back-to-back -back hit this time. I might have pulled from the wrong stack. So let's just see if we make up for it right here or not. I didn't like how I opened that pack. It is how it is. Code card, Slowpoke, Zangoose, Aircross Energy Switch. All right, that's a guy I know I've seen a few times already. So definitely one of the more commons as far as hollows go. Code card, energy surge. And I also am gonna start building out a, um, I wanna build out a battle deck based on Scarlet and Violet as well. My kids and I do battle Pokemon. That is kind of what got me into it with them was wanting to battle all the time. Kind of the collecting came secondary to me. And so while I enjoy collecting, Really, it's a lot of fun battling. My kids and I battle often. In one of my boxes, I have uh, a deck that I use that is uh, fairly basic, but gets the job done sometimes when battling my kids who definitely have the edge with better cards. There we go, Amiradon, EX. That's a card that I don't have. Add it to the stack. Here we go with the code card. And let's see what we got. Man key, that's good. Potion, Torkoal. All right, all right. Let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comment section so far about this video and also about the Scarlet and Violet series. This is uh, really the first series that I've dug into quite a lot, although um, there were a couple from the last series that I have, I have a good amount of cards and I think I will kind of continue to try and build out a set uh, maybe an Astral Radiant set because I have a lot of cards from that series, but I haven't gone through them and really like put them in a binder to see how far along I am in collecting that series. Code card. So let me know down in the comment section below, like, are you a collector? Are you trying to collect a series? Are you more into playing the game? Let me know what you are. Oh, there we go. Toxic Rock EX. Nice. Nice card. Let's recap what we've got so far. Oh, and that's a different Toxic Rock. So we've got two of them here together. This is great. Let's keep getting after it. We're definitely a little bit more than halfway through our box so far. So make sure if you have not subscribed to the channel because you don't want to miss the giveaway of that ETB when I hit 1000 subscribers. That is beauty, and we are back to our back-to-back -back hits with our hollows. 
Thank you very much. I am feeling good about where we're at right now. I was starting to think we weren't going to be making too much ground as far as, you know, having some good hits. Obviously, I'm adding to my stack of hollows and reverse hollows, which is great. I'm not mad about that, but we want some hits. Here is that code card and let's keep going. Now, what I do love about these sets is that you can always see, you know, this could throw you off because the hollow cards have the hollow edge border. And so you could think that you've got a hit and then you get to the back and it's a hollow and not an, an actual hit, which is, you know, not a problem, but it builds suspense. And I definitely enjoy having a little bit of suspense added to the scenario here. I wish Everyone that I saw was a hit. That's just not how it's going to be. And that's what we've got to get used to here with Scarlet and Violet. Tropius, Pokeball, Rotom, Palpad, Picnic Basket. All right. Oh, we've, okay, we're in our reverse, reverse. And there we go. We've got a hit. Fantastic. We'll add those cards to the stack. I noticed that I haven't been doing a good job of pulling out all of my reverse hollows. See, I've got a couple of reverse hollows here. I'm going to have to go through this stack and better sort. In my talking to you guys, I am not doing a great job of doing my, my sorting right now. So I am going to have to go back through all of the bulk cards and look through them just to make sure that I don't lose out on anything that I need for my set. All right. Um, bird here. And we have a hollow. Fantastic. I can see a whole bunch of reverse hollows now that I'm looking at my stack and I know that I've not been good at sorting but like I said I'll do that off camera I won't bother you guys with it but I will give you updates on how I'm doing as I go and add these cards to the set we'll throw in some update videos along the way as well so make sure to be subscribed not only because you want want to win that ETB but you want to come along for the ride with me as I finish my set. So, oh, there we go. We've got Blink Alone EX. That is a card that I have, but this is a different variant of that card. I have to laugh, Maddening Scent. That is just such a funny attack. And then Heavy Stomp. I mean, those attacks are just hilarious to me. Some of them make me laugh. You know, some of them are more brutal and serious. And then some of the attacks just gotta make you laugh. Go ahead and pull our code card. All right, Houndour. Magikarp, Rock Chest Plate, Team Star Grunt. All right, got another hit here. Fantastic, we'll add it to the stack and whatever. That card, I have so many of. That is a very common hollow in the Scarlet and Violet set because I have so many of them. Even before I started opening this box, I think I had three or four of them. And they are a single star rare. So it's a very common single star rare from what I'm seeing so far. Here we go, got the code card. Ralts, Growlithe, Hypno, Beach Court, Sandaconda, Drowsy, and these are our reverse, which I've just been blowing by because I'm paying too close of attention to our shiny hollow edges and not paying attention to the fact that a reverse hollow is a bit more subtle, but is still a card that is going in towards my set. And depending on, I mean, some of those cards are hollow and reverse hollow. And so I will remove the reverse hollow from my set to replace it with a hollow. Hondur, Drifloon, Vivon, Toxol. There's our reverses starting and Andozo. All right, my pile over here is getting a little tall. So we are down to the final eight. Let's see what we get as we get towards the back of the booster box and see what is hidden in the back. Energy switch, Vroom, Culture, Skidoo, Zangoose, Youngster, Flaffy, Fiddle, Dindine, Amaraud, Amarouge. Nothing exciting there, nothing I haven't seen multiple times already. Code card. Got the shiny edges back there, but we know that that doesn't necessarily mean anything other than it could be a hollow with two reverses in front of it. Still not mad, but I'm hoping for 
two to three more pulls. And I have seen some packs. I've had a pack or two come with two full arts in it before, two pulls within it that uh, definitely makes me happy. And so I'm hoping that we at least get one of those in this box because it would be sad if I didn't get that. Uh, I would consider that a bummer way to end the day, but not all lost because we're working towards building our set and we're also working towards getting me to a thousand subscribers so I can give away an ETB. If you wanna see the ETB, it is right here. I already have it and this is the ETB that you're going to get. Of course, you're gonna come along and help me unbox as many of these as it takes to get me to a thousand subscribers. Here's the code card, let's go. So this is our fifth to last pack. Reverse, reverse, and here at OCX. There we go, we got a hit out of that pack, fantastic. Oh, I just destroyed that code card. Thankfully, I don't need it. You got it right there. Hopefully, I get a few more pulls here while you are busy hitting that thumbs up and subscribing to the channel because you want to see me get to a thousand subscribers and you also want a chance at winning that ETB. All right, there we go. Three packs left. Code card for you. And this would be the last pack in the second to last row. Let's see what we get. And then we will be in the back row. We've got Stone Journer, Muscarata, Professor's Research. We've already seen a couple of those cards. So we're really getting an idea of what is very common that you're gonna end up seeing. So if you are trying to build a set like me, you're gonna end up with a lot of some similar cards, which is fine. Just means you can sell them, you can give them to somebody else who's trying to build a set. Uh, definitely lots of things you can do with duplicates or even work towards building an additional set. Squawkability, uh, Setitan, I think. Professor's Research, that's a different one. Fantastic, but no additional pulls. This would be the last pack in the back. So if you're looking at the front of the box, it's the last pack on the right. I'm hoping for the best here. We haven't gotten any double pulls out of a pack yet. And so there's our code card. Let's see what we get. Let's finish strong. I don't want to end on a low note here. Let's hope for the best and see what we get. We've got a switch reverse, an energy search, and a Skeldra gear, a Skel, Skeledger hollow. So no big hit on the last pack in the box, but let's go ahead and do a recap of what I did get. And we'll count out the amount of pulls that we got here. We've got a Gyarados EX, that's one, a Corridon EX, an Oinkalone EX. We've got a Bombardier, We've got a Gardevoir EX, Great Tux EX, Tusk EX, Troxacroak EX, Troxacroak EX, a different variation. So we've got eight pulls there so far. We've got the Mirrodon EX, Drowsy, and Iron Treads. So we got eight, nine, 10, 11 pulls out of this set. And it seemed like most of these pulls came from the more center region, not the exact center region of the booster box, but kind of maybe the end of the first third and the beginning of the last third of the box. It seemed like where most of the pulls were. So my advice so far, based off of the last box that I opened and this box, is go for the more towards the center of a booster box. Try to get those pulls. Try to build your set. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that I can hit that 1,000 subscriber mark and so you can enter for a chance to win a Scarlet and Violet ETB. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.